हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू माई YouTube चैनल वी आर मेकिंग दिस मॉडल इन दिस सीरीज इन दिस प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैड कम्प्लीटेड मॉडलिंग एंड अनरैपिंग प्रोसेस इन ब्लेंडर आई एम हैप्पी दैट यू फॉलोड द प्रीवियस प्रोसेस एंड नाउ यू विल लर्न हाउ आई टेक्स्टर दिस मॉडल इन सबस्टांस पेंटर आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू आउट दिस वीडियो एंड बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू गेट अ रिजल्ट लाइक दिस सो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो फर्स्ट इम्पोर्ट द मॉडल इन टू सबस्टांस पेंटर Documents resolution is up to you. Normal map format will be OpenGL. Go to texture set settings, scroll down mouse wheel, click on bake mesh maps. Choose output size, anti-aliasing. Leave the color ID option. Now bake the selected textures. Go to Layer Panel and create a new fill layer. We will use only color channel in this fill layer, so deactivate other channels. Import Red Bull label texture from your computer. If you don't have the label, you can search on Google and you will find it easily. Now drag the label into the base color and change UV wrap to None. This way, it only show one time and not repeatedly all over the UV shell. or we can do is we can change the uv wrap to repeat horizontally i am creating a folder here and i will keep the fill layer into this folder and add black mask to the folder then go to polygon fill and mesh fill and select the can this way whatever we do in this folder its visibility will be only limited to this folder now to be more precise i will add a black mask to the fill layer also and in the fill mode i will choose uv chunk fill and select this uv chunk this way this texture is only visible to this uv chunk because we need to only use the texture to the middle portion of the can here i am creating another fill layer and using only metallic and roughness channel You can go to add filter and choose HSL perceptive. I am using it to increase the brightness of the texture. Now create another folder for metal pieces. In the material panel, search for iron grainy material and simply drag and drop into the new folder. Play with its roughness and color values. increase the scale size according to your taste now again add a black mask to the folder right now this folder material visibility is zero and you remember where did we go to choose a particular mesh go to polygon fill then mesh fill and then select the meshes now you want to know why i created another fill layer actually i will use it for base color variation add black mask and then add generator select the curvature generator and tweak its value for best result we can also add blur effect to the black mask so that it blur the curvature value create a new folder for another metal piece set now drag and drop the same iron grainy material to the new folder add black mask to the folder and select these pieces now activate uv chunk fill options and select these uv chunks into this folder 
deactivate the base color channel. Now create another fill layer into this folder. Activate only the base color channel and give it a nice red color tone. Add black mask to the red color folder. Now add metal edge wheels generator. Invert the effect and play with its values. Now create another folder and drag and drop the iron grainy material again in the new folder. Add black mask to the folder and select the meshes. Create another fill layer and activate only the base color channel and add a black mask to it. Go to add generator and select curvature generator. We will use texture for the generator so turn on the texture one, go to its texture settings and make the opacity to 1. Now click on texture and find grand sketch texture. Tweak its value for results. This texture is actually grayscale texture on the curvature generator. So white is 100% visibility and black is 0% visibility and gray is between these two extreme values. Now create another folder. Search for steel rust and wear material and drag and drop into the new folder. Now add black mask to the folder and select this piece. Create another fill layer. Activate only the base color channel. Now add black mask to the fill layer. Go to smart mask gallery. Search for fabric edge damage. Now drag and drop the smart mask on the black mask. Go to mask editor and play with its values. So create another folder. Go to materials and search for fabric knitted sweater material and drag and drop into the new folder. Now add black mask to the folder and select this piece. Increase its scale size. Change its color to yellowish brown and play with its other values. Now add another fill layer with only base color channel activated. Add black mask to it and add generator. Choose the curvature generator. Play with its value. Darken its pixel so it looks filthy. Now create another fill layer. Reduce its opacity to 70. This fill layer is for text. Add black mask to it. Now click on add fill. Go to grayscale and type word font. Select any font you like. Replace the default text to red bull. Now go to 2D texture layout and scale the text down. And drag it here over the ribbon UVs. Change the UV wrap to none. I hope you are appreciating my video. If yes, then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you will get notification whenever I upload a new video for you. Create another folder. This folder will be used for another metal PC set. Search for steel painted material in the material gallery. Add black mask to the folder. Change the fill layer base color. Select the UV chunks. Drag and drop the plastic grainy material. Increase the texture size. Now keep the material in a new folder. Add black mask to the folder. Select these two buttons. 
change the color to yellowish green. Create another fill layer. Give it a darker shade. Add black mask and add generator. Choose the curvature generator. Play with its value. Now create another folder. This for emission. Add a fill layer in this folder. Activate only base color and emission channels. Now add black mask to the folder. Select the UV chunks. Change the base color and emission color value. Now duplicate this folder. Replace the black mask with new one. First select the meshes. Now add black mask to the fill layer. Select the UV chunk selection option. Select these UV chunks for emission. Select the polygon selection option and select these polygons. Create another folder. This for label. Create a paint layer. Activate only base color channel. Now import label texture from your computer. If you don't have the labels, please search it on Google. I downloaded them and added them in Photoshop. This is a PNG file. Now drag and drop the texture in the base color slot. Change the alpha to square. Just click once and it will be done. Add black mask to the paint layer. Now click on black mask and choose add fill. Go to grayscale and choose grunge scratch rough. Invert the effect and play with its value. Create another folder. Create a fill layer in this folder. Activate only base color and height channels. Increase height value. Now import another label. Simply drag and drop into the base color channel. Go to 2D UV layout. Scale the texture down. Change the UV wrap to none. And place it on the top of the red build label. Add black mask to the fill layer. Now click on black mask and choose add fill. Go to gray scale and choose grunge sketch rough. Invert the effect and play with its value. Now add paint layer in the black mask. Go to brush gallery and search for dot one brush. Grayscale value is set to zero. So the brush is black in color. Now I am hiding some of the label texture through this dirt one brush. Now create another folder. Create a fill layer in this folder. Activate only base color and height channels. Increase height value. Now import the last label for the model. Simply drag and drop into the base color channel. Scale the texture down. Change the UV wrap to none. And place it on the top of the metal piece set 1. Go to metal piece set 2 folder. And add a paint layer to it. Keep the brush color to black and remove the height details from the label. Now come back to the top folder, add black mask to the fill layer. Now click on black mask and choose add fill. In the grayscale slot, search for grand scratch rough. Invert the effect. Now add another layer below the label layer. Give it red color. Now add black mask. Use a white brush and reveal the black mask.
Now play with the Grunge map values or look for another Grunge. Now add a paint layer on top of the Grunge. Select the Dirt 1 brush again. Keep the color to black and hide some parts of the label. Now add another fill layer. Give it a dirt color. Add black mask to the fill layer. Now add paint layer to the black mask. Keep the brush color to white and just paint here and there over the top of the label. Keep the opacity low for the dirt color. I hope you are appreciating my video. If yes, then please hit the like button and subscribe my channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you will get notification whenever I upload a new video for you. For the final touch on the can, go back to the first folder, replace the fill layer black mask with new one, go to smart mask gallery and search for stain scratches mask. Simply drag and drop into the black mask, go to mask editor and invert the mask. 